Good morning and happy Friday. Welcome to another segment of Mornings and Corning. Today I am joined by Kelly Ormsby, who is the owner of Turquoise Terrapin. Kelly, thank you so much for joining me. Well, happy to be here, Jackie. So good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So let's um, you know, talk about, tell me about yourself. What, how long have you been creating artwork for? I've been creating artwork um, in a business sense since I was in middle school. I got my first wholesale contract up in Lake Placid when I was in eighth grade. And but I've been making art ever since I can remember. I always loved playing with plastic pony beads and you know drawing and coloring, all, all sorts of creative things when I was younger. But there was something that was especially appealing to me about the texture and the variety of beads. So that, that was something I was drawn to. And then in around uh, eighth grade, that's when I started making jewelry, making multiple pieces of jewelry, and then realizing that other people enjoyed it as well and that it could be a source of income for me. Okay, awesome. So was there anybody or anything that inspired you in jewelry sense? In the jewelry sense, I would have to give credit for that inspiration to both my mother and my grandmother. They have always been really fun, well-dressed women. And when I was young, they would allow me to go shopping with them in really artful boutiques. So I got to see what you know quality and color was available out there. And I loved how we felt when we wore these new outfits and just just the intergenerational community that was brought to brought in by clothing and jewelry. We could all appreciate each other's outfits. And it, it was a timeless kind of style and not just a trend. Okay, that's awesome. So a little bit more about the jewelry. What would you say is your favorite thing to create? My favorite thing to create, um, it's really hard to choose. Yeah, I'm sure. Because it's, there, there's so many different products that I get to work unique materials into. I love making big bracelets filled with gemstones and charms and one of my most recent uh, material acquisitions are African snake bones. Okay awesome well thank you again for joining us and another segment of Mornings and Corning we'll be right back after the break. Good morning and welcome back to another segment of Mornings and Corning. I am again joined by Kelly Ormsby who is the owner of Turquoise Terrapin. Kelly, thank you so much again for being here. So we are sitting in front of a table of your materials. Mm -hmm. um, just tell me about them. What do we have here? So sourcing materials is one of my favorite parts of my job. One of the most recent and unique materials I've been using are the snake bones that I got at the Tucson African Art Festival. And these are snake bones that are browned over cooking fires in Africa. So these ones have been um, a surprisingly good seller as earrings, and they were a huge hit at the Scranton Tattoo uh, Convention this uh, spring. So that, that was a new show and that was so much fun. These parrot feathers have also been really popular, and these are just gorgeous. And they come from a, what is it called? An exotic bird sanctuary in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So the, you know, some of these exotic birds live for ages and usually go through several owners in their lifetime. So the bird sanctuary takes care of them and helps rehome them. And so these are naturally shed feathers from those birds. And when I buy the feathers from them, they put the money towards caring for the birds while they're transitioning homes. And of course, my business name is Turquoise Terrapin. So turquoise is always on the table in the studio. So this is a really big jar, and these stones came from a gem show in Edison, New Jersey. Um, so when you go to these conventions and stuff, what are some of the you know, things that you look for um, in pieces that you end up picking out? What I look for is things that are, are rare in a way that we don't see them in our everyday lives. When I see materials, I want something that will surprise people and engage people because it needs to be something they haven't seen before. Also, I want unique materials that people can just 
connect with and share the story of. Well, I love that. That's beautiful. And again, thank you so much for joining us, Kelly. And that does it for Mornings and Corning, more news and weather coming up after the break.